Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Cardwell's Cultures here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And today, I'm sorry to do this to you again, but we're milling again. <laughs> hey! Yay! It's just, you know, it's one of my favorite archetypes ever. It just has to happen. And with uh, the new cards, of course, in M21, you, why not play mill again, right? I mean, yeah, of course. But before we get into it, I'm going to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us. We love you very much for it, and the link will be down below. And today, we are becoming the teacher's pet because Teferi, Teferi has his knowledge and his tutelage to come and, you know, guide us on our way. But we are a Teferi free zone here, so there's no planeswalkers. We're not using that guy. He's busted. I don't like him. Get him out of here. It's not fair magic, okay? I'm sorry. It's not, but it's, it's not. still a good card. It's not. But Teferi's tutelage, it's a tune of blue enchantment. Enters the battlefield, draw a card, and then discard a card. And when you draw a card, target opponent mills too. And it's awesome that uh, Magic has made mill an actual keyword. And if you don't actually know what that means, it means you gently place the top of their deck into the library for the number of times it tells you to. Simple yeah. as that. But yeah, it's just, there we go, and that's what we're learning. Uh, the first guy we got in the deck is Overwhelmed Apprentice. He is a blue for a 1-2 human wizard. Mm -hmm. uh, he enters the battlefield, each opponent mills two, and then you scry two. So... You get to mill them out while you get to dig deep to see what you're cutting, getting into. So it's going to be fantastic for you. Exactly. A uh, simple dude, he does the things that help you out. Now this card might be seeming a little weird, but we'll get into it in a little bit. Uh, Dranith Healer. One in a white, two, two. Whenever you cycle another card, you gain one life. But mainly, he has cycling one. Pay one, ditch him, and then you draw a card. And it helps with two legit at any time you do that for sure. Next is Wall of Lost Thoughts. This is a blue and one for a zero four defender. And when it enters the battlefield, the target player puts the top four of their library into their graveyard. Yep. So it's an early game wall to stop all their attackers, like their aggressive attackers, and you get to mill them while you're doing it. So you get to do what you're doing and have a way to stay alive. Exactly. And the reason why we're also having uh, cycling is escape protocol. It's one in a blue enchantment. Whenever you cycle a card, you may pay one, and when you do exile target artifact or creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its control. So this is where you're, you're cycling, you're ditching and cycling things, you're bouncing your wall and coming back and milling them for six in total for like two mana. It just super helps out. It's, it just keeps, it makes it where your deck mill actually has grinding gears and you just keep going through their deck really yeah, well. Yeah, it, it makes the tempo go to your side pretty easily. Oh yeah. Uh, next is Ashiok the Dream Render. She is uh, three mana, two of the blue back hybrid and one, and she's got five loyalty. And spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause their controller to search their library. And then you minus one, and target player puts the top five, top four of their library into the graveyard, then you exile each opponent's graveyard. Yep. So this this go right now is going to do a lot of work, because it stops Fable Passage. So when they lose their land and they're like, cool search, you're like, no, you're like, no you can't. Sorry, you forgot about that, I'm sorry. Yeah. And like Uro and Cultivate, all those silly cards, they don't get to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, they go turn three arrow and then you play this and you're like, goodbye, your graveyard's gone. You can't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. So yeah, super powerful and it works against the meta for sure. <clears throat> now this is another reason why I wanted white uh, and it just for control. You can go mono blue and try to bounce things, but sometimes uh, planeswalkers get out of hand. So you need banishing light. It's two and a white enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent opponent controls until this leaves the field. And like I said, it just gets Planeswalkers out of the way or pesky giant dudes. Next up is Thought Collapse. It is two blue and one for an instant counter target spell. Its controller puts the top three into their graveyard. So it's literally just a cancel with added bonus. Yeah. So you're not really missing out on anything and you're not, not playing a card you wouldn't have played before because everyone played cancel before. So this just helps you for what you're doing. Exactly. And by your if you have uh, the two lidge out, the rest of the game is literally passing the turn and waiting for them to do stuff to either can to cancel this or yeah to cancel this or you cycle so therefore you're not missing out on anything because my other mill decks you always want to keep playing stuff on your turn which kind of defeats the purpose of counter spells but this yeah, actually goes well with it mm -hmm. it's an actual control part and speaking of control we have shatter the sky two two white sorcery each player who controls a creature with four or greater draws a card and then destroys all creatures uh, you need stuff, man. Sometimes the board gets so overwhelming when you're playing mill that you just need to wipe it all away instantly. And I chose this one over time wipe because the fact that when you play against aggro for the first game, you just need this on turn four. You can't wait till turn five or you're pretty much dead. Yeah. 
Uh, next is the Frostvale Ambush. It is two blue and three for an instant. Tar tap up to two target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during the controller's next untap step. Or it cycles for one, which is mostly what you're going to need this for, because earlier you're going to be like, hey, cycle to use tutelage. But if it does late game, you're like, cool, I don't want to die to those dudes, so tap those dudes down. Exactly. <laughs> pretty, pretty awesome. And that's why most of the, all the cycling cards are either blue or white, so you can actually use them. And just like this guy, Boon and the Wish Giver, four and two blue, sorcery, draw four cards. But you can also cycle for one early game, and discard it, draw a card. But if you have a two or two on the battlefield and you can pay six, you draw four and they mill eight. It's perfect, perfect combination for sure. Now with that, that is the, the tight knit package of mill. And I'm, there's a lot of ways you can tweak it for sure. And we'll just come to that when we can. But for now, that's what I decided and played with and it tested it and it was pretty fun. It worked out pretty decently. With that, the lands are pretty simple. Uh, we have Fable Passage, just to be able to lick your stuff. You have Hollowed Fountain, your shock lands. You have the basics of uh, Island and Forest. And then we have the Triome, the Jeff Sky Triome, because you can place it down on the ground. And of course it taps for a blue or a white and you, you don't mind that. But late game, if it gets to the point, you can cycle it out to draw for tutelage. It's just another way to mill your opponent. And with uh, that, we also, I put one card in our honorable mentions is it's revitalized so it's a one in a white instant you gain three life and draw a card this is obviously against aggro so you can do the two things you need to mill them out and survive just a little bit longer to see if what you can push through for the next one uh, with that 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 is the deck that is teacher's pet hopefully you enjoy another mill deck because i enjoy <laughs> making them and i'm sure there's another uh what reincarnation deck out there somewhere coming out to be Oh, yeah. But with that, hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island, and you have a good day. Bye. Later. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It will give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout-out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.